good morning children hope you are all fine welcome back to the online class see children before i start i want to note you that in then from the next class we are i am starting with the seventh standard portions for you okay first lesson only i'll start get ready and who has not uh, purchased yet the books uh, please collect please pay the fees and collect the books immediately okay uh, because maths is not such a subject just uh, reading and practicing you have to watch very uh, cleanly and you have to learn it okay children now the uh, we'll start with the geometry till now i have done your arithmetic integers that is in uh, last uh, in the last class integers uh, just introduction i have given because in the next class the same chapter will be for you uh, then i will go in detail right uh, now we'll come to the geometries just i'll give a uh, main uh, points geometry what is geometry we'll uh, draw the lines isn't it a uh, point line line segment and ray everything is given here okay when and we'll uh, also solve the angles perimeter everything isn't it no children so cube cuboid also we have had learnt in the last class so just we'll go uh, in roughly with the lines and line segments right okay now we'll start with the point whenever we draw anything first we start we'll uh, keep a point here it is a point is a simple geometrical form okay it is a simple geometrical form and we have we can uh, write the point anywhere we are ready to do the drawings isn't it so uh, you have seen uh, your mother has is uh, keeping the rangoli she keeps a uh, points like this and she joins the points okay so it is a first basic point of the geometrical thing so we can do it on a any plane surface it can be done on the plane surface now next is first is point next is line okay line and line segments line is a straight path that extends indefinitely in either direction a line has no end point the line has no end point it can be extended means we can draw further it doesn't have any definite uh, point to be given it is indefinitely on either direction it can go here this side also and here also it can be drawn this is line next is line segment line segment segment means a part segment means line now we are coming to the line segment segment means a part is only a part of a line and it has a fixed length okay it has a 
fixed length a line segment is also definite as shortest distance between two points first we will draw a line to uh, draw a rectangle i'll say you draw a line segment of 3 cm first you will take a scale from 0 to 3 you keep the point 0 from 0 to 3 cm you keep a point and you draw this you stop it here isn't it this is called line segment you just draw a line this is a line and when you keep a point from the, the distance measurement of the line it is called a line segment it is called a line segment a line segment indicates with the with a sign like this arrows to in both the sides we write the arrows that it can be extended both the ways a line segment of the fixed length is represented by the sign on small sign we will represent it with then we come to the ray ray we come to ray point line line segment and now we are in the line a line has one end point this is one end point it can be it has one end point so that is its vertex it is its vertex it is the vertex it has no a one end it is stop and the other end where we write it is a vertex it can be extended in the the direction okay then intersection lines intersecting lines when two lines meet each other when two lines intersecting lines intersecting lines intersecting lines when two lines meet each other at one point c it can be like this or it can be like this also when two lines intersects meets the point c o that is intersection now a parallel line and it intersects with the another point c this is also an intersecting line okay so where the two for two lines intersect meet at one point they meet at one point that is called the intersecting lines that is called the intersecting lines or you have you understood this point line line segment okay ray and intersecting lines okay now parallel lines now we'll go to the parallel lines what is this parallel lines two for two line segments where they do not meet each other a pair of straight line a pair of straight line a pair of straight line which never meet which never meet
meat is called a is called the parallel lines which they never meet each other even if they are extended at any length they are called i'll show you the example see lines two lines are there if we extend this line also on either side if we extend this also it doesn't meet see here it doesn't meet so this is called parallel lines this both are called these lines are called parallel lines parallel lines okay got it now now we we'll go to the next thing you know the about the lines now you recalled all the things no so now we'll go to the next part that is angles now we are going to the next part that is angles what is an angle an angle is a definite defined as a figure formed by two rays having one same starting point or initial point the common initial point is known as the vertex see the two lines now here i'll keep one point i'll draw one ray okay from this starting where i have started one line from there only another one i will extend it to the other side or to the upper okay where this is called the vertex this is called vertex these both are called arcs these both are called arcs okay arms are sides it is having one vertex angle will have one vertex and two arms and it is it can be written as angle like this it is signed as it will say angle now this is abc a angle abc is equal to how many degrees we have to measure it and we have to write it now don't write anything it is said like this okay an angle is shown in the adjacent figure having o as vertex and q a and o b as its arcs now types of angles will come to the types of angles what are the types of angles we have having we are having three types of angles which are they we'll see
there are mainly four three kinds three kinds of angles we have that is one is acute angle main important children acute angle right angle and obtuse angle and obtuse angle what is this angle see i have written one angle in here it should acute angle means it should measure from 0 greater than 0 and lesser than lesser than 90 less than 90 degree greater than 0 and less than 90 degree is a acute angle right angle it should measure equal to 90 degree equal to 90 degree that it should be more than 90 degree and less than 180 degree more than 90 degree and less than 180 degree more than 90 degree less than 180 180 degree it is an obtuse angle an angle which measures more than 0 in a protractor we use protractor to measure the angles okay you have learned already all about it so in the protractor we use protractor in that protractor the interior scale the interior scale should measure we have to keep the uh, middle uh, point here to this the protractor it will be like this isn't it this point should come here and this line should be above your drawn line okay so it should be more than 90 more than 0 degree and less than 90 degree that is it may be it must be within 90 degree that is 65 35 uh, 85 90 within 90 how much will come so that less than 90 degree we should measure then it is called as acute angle then right angle it should be equal to 90 degree it should be equally 90 degree obtuse angle see it will be this is acute angle you think it is less than it is uh, somewhat uh, 65 or some i didn't measure it i'll uh, show you it comes like this only acute angle right angle and obtuse angle it will be 110 degree you think so it is more than 90 degree and less than 180 degree more than 90 degree less than 180 degree so this is your angles about the angles got it still detailly in the next class that is in 7th standard you are going to read so next we will move to the um, triangles 
or quadrilaterals. Okay. Quadrilateral means four sides where we have a the joint figure is called a quadrilateral. Now we'll go one roughly about the triangle. What is triangle? We'll see in uh, detail in the other classes. We'll look at that. See, triangle. We'll move to the triangle. We'll see the definition of a triangle. What is a triangle? It is a polygon figure. Having three sides is called a triangle. It's a Polygon figure. Polygon means where all the ends will meet. Closed figure. It is called closed figure. It's polygon with a least number of sides. It is having least number. Now it is a closed figure. It is a polygon. So less edges. See three. Three lines, three vertices, three angles we have. So, it is a least number of sides. We have least number of sides. They have three sides and three vertices. Three vertices. Okay, the points uh, where two of the three sides of the triangle meet is called the vertex of the triangle. The triangle has three vertices. So, here also you have uh, types of triangles. We'll uh, discuss in later classes. Uh, we'll uh, see. Still more we have, we will uh, wind it up here only and we will move to the seventh class and in the next class I am going to take a first lesson from the, from the textbook, part one. Okay, part one textbook, mathematics. So who has not yet uh, purchased the books, please come and collect the books. Okay, and we will start with the next class class. Okay, hope you have understood this and we'll wind it up with our bridge course here only. Okay, have a nice day children.